Hi there, it's Jimmy again, and today we have something kind of cool looking. Uh, but first, if you like what you see or what you've been watching, please do hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you have comments, either now or later, please do leave them below, and I do try to answer them in a timely manner. Um, anyway, so what is this? It's Pontiac. Yeah, it's Grand Prix. Very cool. 1995. So it's a W body, and it is the second to last year of this style. 96 was the last year. This is, well, like I said, 95. And this one's interesting. It's got what looks like the GTP package, but the GTP went away and it just kind of got a special edition sport, whatever package that was an option. So it got all the GTP, uh, well, go fast looking bits. And it's got the good engine or the better engine, the more powerful engine, let's put it that way. So let's uh, let's walk around and then we'll check out inside and under the hood too. So first of all, we'll make out of the sun. Here's where the Pontiac logo obviously would have been. Uh, sadly, it's gone. Obviously it would have been the red arrowhead. This uh, car has the cool little, GM did this with a few cars, the little tiny uh, square headlights. Um, definitely an interesting look and it opened up, well, made this kind of sort of squinty, mean, fierce looking, which I guess makes sense. Here's the twin kidney grill that BMW did. Kind of weird how they covered half the grill opening with the license plate uh, bracket, but uh, what can you do? Pontiac's not around anymore. Maybe that's part of the reason why. Anyway. Uh, fog lights there, not bad. I do love the hood with the louvers. Nothing, nothing looks as good as louvers on a hood. Definitely adds a five to maybe eight horsepower each. Um, and I believe they do open. So let's, we'll actually look when we open the hood. Um, this had the 24 valve V6, so it would have been the 3.4. And for this year, it got an extra five horsepower. So it would have had 215, I believe. Um, you got the color match wheels, we got the white one with ABS brakes, anti-lock braking system. Pontiac always did like to advertise that on the wheels. Got the Pontiac spelled out there, nice. Strut suspension, Grand Prix Special Edition. I think you know, this is the first time I remember, this is the first time I've actually seen one of these that I can recall that actually had the Special Edition graphic on there. Um, but that's kind of a common thing. All kinds of heavy cladding here on the side. Lots of, lots of plastic, that was definitely Pontiac's thing back then. I had the door handles up here, kind of like a Chevy Beretta. Not, not bad. I, I, I don't know. I'm not wild about the body cladding. I do like the wider fenders or the fender flares. So kind of a hit and miss there. Fuel cap. Grand Prix did have the cool taillights with kind of the black waffle pattern, like a Trans Am. And I guess if, did the Fiero have, yeah, I guess the Fiero had that too. This one had the spoiler that was oh so popular in the 90s really didn't do much obviously high mounted brake light there marker lights have the twin exhaust pipes there with the oval oval outlets that's nice sharp looking i can see how these things sold i mean they didn't look bad coming around to the other side you have the power antenna here in the back and well, this side is pretty much a mirror image of the other one right <laughs> except for the dent right here and the missing the uh the body panels so it's kind of cool under the cladding you can just see it's just obviously uh paint or painted metal with a bunch of brackets. Nothing's rusting there in the open ones, which is good. Um, this mirror is obviously a bit deck, gone. More clips holding the white, uh, the white fender on, and matching wheels all around. So let's, uh, well, let's start under the hood this time since we're here. So let's see if we can get this open. Yep, there we go. You know, do the vents vent, or are they just fake? I can sort of see in there just a little bit, but no, they, they don't do crap. That's not too bad. It's just a poser vent, it looks like. Bummer, I'd want to open those up. I wonder if you took off the, I bet you could cut this black plastic piece out and actually open this up, get a little air to come out of the under hood, but oh well. But my old boy is not packed in there, right? That's the 3.4 liter double overhead cam V6. Like I said, 215 horsepower. There's the front plugs. Back ones are buried under the intake. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, belts are over here this time. Radiators there with the electric fans. Intake, throttle body. Actually quite complete, so not, not bad. Dipstick is here. Oh, another dipstick is here. Dipstick's all over the place in this one. Interesting. Uh, well, I guess one's for the tranny and one's for the the engine oil so maybe somebody i don't know who pulled those but usually the yard puts them back in when they pull them so i don't know um 
Had a little under hood light here. That's obviously not working out because there's no battery. And uh, well, let's go, let's look at the trunk first, see if we can get that open. And then we'll look inside, because the inside's kind of nice. There's the trunk, normal uh, trunk hinges. Got some information there, tire sizes and loading information. Look at that nice, shiny white, I guess that's Summit white? Paint, that looks nice. Big spare tire in here, not much room for anything else. I guess a space saver down there. So I guess if you don't have the full size, you have enough room. It's a little bit of a pass through there into the passenger compartment, but the back seats do not appear to fold down. So let's uh, let's take a look inside. Oh yeah. Oh, uh, you got these door mounted seat belts. Great. That's just, how does that, you get an accident, you roll over or something, your door pops open. How does that keep you in place? It doesn't. You just go flying out and probably die. Anyway, um, you know, and this car had, is that airbags? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, SRS means airbag, right? So supplemental restraint system. That's weird. It had the belts and the airbags. Well, maybe I'm just mistaken and the SRS is the belt. No, it shouldn't be. So, huh, weird. It's odd that it has belts, if it does. Anyway, so let's take a look. So got this big steering wheel here. Got the typical GM gauges. What do we have here? 144,274 miles on it. It's not terrible. Trip computer here. Check out your averages and so forth. You have these, now this was horrible back then. These gray play school Fisher Price looking buttons that Pontiac put in anything were pretty disappointing. But had the typical GM wiper stock with the cruise control and turn signal and kind of everything plus your plus the kitchen sink uh, type of deal there. If you've ever driven a GM car between probably 1980 and 2010, you're familiar with that. Let's see in here. Oh, radio with lots of buttons, equalizer three dials for the HVAC that's not bad and then you had the automatic I guess it was a four-speed or three with overdrive anyway cup holders center compartment with a little change holder those were always nice change the long gone seats are cozy look at that it's nice fabric tall headrests supportive the bolsters not bad power seats in this case uh, obviously there's two pedals it's an automatic and then the uh, push to release parking brake. Oh, that's interesting. Second gear start. So you can, in the winter, I guess you can decide you want to start in second gear, which makes sense. Less power going through the front wheels in this case, because it's front wheel drive. Let's see. Uh, how do you get the... Oh, there we go. Back seat. Look at that. Coupe. Spacious. It's got the uh, lines on the back there, so you don't fry your noggin. Uh, on the back window, I mean. Then... Check out this map light. This is cool. Does it move? Yep, moves around. That's interesting. Got a coat hook there. A eh, decent amount of legroom, I guess. That's not bad. That's pretty nice though, with the you know the padding all the way up to the top of the window there. Not terrible at all. Um, pretty comfortable. And let's see, is there a VIN? Uh, let's see. This is teamwork and quality. Kansas City Fairfax or Kansas City, Kansas was the assembly plant. And this was built in 04, so April 1995 by GM. Interesting. Well, overall, this car actually looks pretty good. Fairly complete. And uh, would have been a pretty fly ride back in the day, huh? And I do like the front, and I like the body cladding, so not, not too bad. Anyway, that was the uh, 1995 Pontiac Grand Prix Special Edition with 3.4. If you liked what you saw, please do subscribe. Thank you.